So I went up to the lot up there next to the storage building the other day and did some donuts with the rat rod and had Carolyn with me. She was my photographer. I need a bigger space and I've got a bigger space there, uh, except that half of it's grown up in grass. I went up and cut half of it the other day. The part I cut was literally starting to grow up in pine trees. Now this mower mowed all that down. Uh, that's John Deere GT275. Uh, you see how tall that grass is over there? Well, that grass up yonder is that tall. And every time I mow grass that tall, I get grass dust all in my lungs, all in my eyeballs, all over my body. So I just decided I've got this hazmat suit I wore to a Halloween party last uh, last time. And I got a hat over there with glasses that goes down and has a little breathing mask on it. So I'm gonna wear all that stuff. I'm gonna go up there and put all this on and drive into that very tall grass and uh, mow all that. And I'm gonna take y'all up here on this tripod and set you up so you can watch. That'll be fun. Some of you say, hey, let's see you. Somebody actually said the other day, I miss your mowing videos. And I used to make mowing videos up at the house in Maine. And 63 and Pally used to fuss at me. He'd say, I can't believe you're out there mowing yourself, cutting grass. You know, just like, just like I can't believe he's out there, you know, filming himself. Did I say mowing yourself? <laughs> I wouldn't surprise me if he didn't mow himself. You know, I've seen him set himself on fire, but we won't go there. But anyway, 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 anyway. <laughs> Right here, there's kind of a drain. What'll happen on a semi-flat field like this is the water's gonna find a way to go out of here. And in this case, this goes out of here down through there and there's a pretty good, it turns into a pretty good sized little ditch by the time it gets over there. I remember when I was mowing this whole field last year, every time I'd come to that thing, it'd kind of jar my insides out. But what I'm going for here is an area where I can bring the rat rod up and do some spin arounds, do some donuts, maybe do a big circle. If you'll see over there where you're a little bit, a little bit dug up, well, that's what I was I had available when I was up here with Carolyn the other day. I've increased that by at least twice, maybe, maybe nearly three times. So it gives me a lot more room. The other day I couldn't do a figure eight because I turn it one way. When I turn it the other way, my rat rod turns one way tighter than the other way. I know that uh, sounds like a pretty redneck way of engineering a steering column, but that's the way mine is. One of these days I might fix that, but that's beside the point. Uh, as this is now, I could come up here with a hot rod and, and do some photography stuff, spin around, kick up some dirt. I could even do like a little miniature circle track sort of thing and go around and around here. That would be, that would be kind of fun and it'd make good video. So what I'm gonna do now, there's, uh, there's weeds and stuff growing up in that building. I'm gonna go mow inside of there and then out by the sign. I got a bee buzzing around my head. And then out by the sign, I'm gonna go cut that. So y'all can, can just come right along with me. Uh, I just have to free up one hand to the bee bothering me here. Free up one hand to get to the thing here. <laughs> Thank you. 